Hello art journalists, this is Natalie from NK Design. Welcome to another progress video. I have no idea where I'm going today, but I thought it would be fun to add a tag. I'm adhering the tag with a masking tape and then cut through it carefully with an X-Acto knife on the outside so that I can still fold it over and I do that on both sides. I still haven't decided what to do, so I'm adding a layer of gesso. You can never go wrong with a layer of gesso. I have decided to add some texture to the background, so I grabbed tissue wrap, it's called Melange from Tim Holtz Ideology, as well as some vintage ledger paper. I start with the ledger paper and I rip it into pieces and then adhere it to the tag and to the background of the art journal with Liquitex matte medium. I have ripped the large piece of tissue paper roughly in half and adhere it to the background but I've also ripped off some pieces so that the ledger paper peeks through. I don't even try to be exact. I don't mind a few wrinkles here and there. And the loose pieces I will rip off later. Adhering the last piece to the tag and then I start ripping off the loose pieces. It gives it a nice distressed look. And I finally decided on some colors. I'm using blues and oranges, but I end up not using all the blues that you see here. Blue and orange are complementary colors. Uh, these are two colors directly opposite each other of the wheel. For example, like I'm using here, blue and orange. Other would be red and green and violet and yellow. Using complementary colors will give you a nice contrast, but you need to be careful not to mix the colors together because that will create a brown. I start brushing on the colors onto the background with a brush and then I also use a finger. And as you can see, I only went with the darker blue tones that I had. The lighter colors um, I didn't like after all. What the heck, I want some more um, texture, so I grabbed two stamps. One is from Hero Arts and the other one is from Dilutions. And I'm using the Black and uh, Rangers Archival Ink in denim to add them to the page. Because it gets quite busy, I'm using gesso to tone it down a little bit and I'm using catalyst wedges to distribute the gesso. Time to add orange to the page. I want a little bit of pattern, so I'm using a stencil. This one is called Scallop Rose and it is by Joggles. By the way, the paint I'm using is Ceram Coat. It is a great matte acrylic paint and usually you can write over it with pens and markers without any problems. adding a lighter tone of orange to the page um, and I'm using the catalyst wedge here to distribute it over the page. 
Sometimes I heard people say, but they cover everything up again and it was so pretty to begin with. All I can say to that is, look, it's part of the process and sometimes you need to cover something up just to start over again or because you want to or because you think it looks better in the end. Never be afraid to cover something up. Sometimes it's just needed to go ahead with something and sometimes you end up with a better piece than you already had. Being afraid to cover something up might block you in your creative process. So just let it happen. Sometimes when I want to add a face but don't want to spend a long time drawing a face, I like to grab these fantastic uh, face stencils by Jane Davenport. With a fine Faber-Castell pit pen in black, I scribble through the lines. Then I take away the pencil and connect the lines. I'm working really loosely here, just in a scribbly manner. That's how I want this face to be. I don't want it to be perfect and neat. With the same marker, or I think this one is the uh, thicker M pen, I'm adding some hair. I have decided I want to add some bird stamps to the hair. These are by Dina Wakely called Scribbly Birds. Aren't they the cutest ever? Oh, I just love them. quote on Pinterest and I'm writing it down. Now of all days, this day I had problems with any of my uh, marker pens, so I tried just a few until I had the quote done. At the back of the journal um, I started journaling and because I don't want anybody to be able to read what I'm writing there, I do it in a very scribbly fashion. I'm adding my date stamp, but something is missing. I just don't know what yet. Paint splatters. I want to add some paint splatters. Uh, first I'm using an orange from uh, Pigment Eye Zinc. It's called Zafran. Then I'm using a blue. and This one has a metallic shimmer. It's called Volopolis. And then I'm using black and white India ink. Now I like how it looks. I think I'm finished now. I'm holding it up a little bit closer to the camera. I'm not sure if you can see it. The blue is a little bit shimmery and it looks quite nice. It gives it a nice touch. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. I see you next time. Until then, happy arting!